a lot of work since. The first thing we've done in the Greek reception service is to increase the human count. Get good people. I'm very proud of the quality of the people serving the Greek reception system. There used to be Manos alone when I, when I came here. But we elevated him to Secretary General. We created an independent uh, department called the, the National Reception System, where the governor, the deputy governor, we appointed governor to all the camps in Greece. We created regional management structures, things that are obvious, but during the crisis here we were not able to. We then started to upgrade our camps. I'm very proud to say that the new camps in Samos, Pos and Leros are one of the very few camps in Europe that meet a rather strict EU AA standard. But we're very proud we were able to comply with this standard in the new camps. Lesbos is coming along early 2023, hopefully it's late 2023. We like to have also been upgraded. But then all the camps on the mainland, we appointed facility management contract. So security, cleaning, maintenance now done in a professional way. If you visit any of our camps, and I hope you are visiting some of our camps, you will see a completely different quality of environment. This, and also enhanced safety provision. This is critical for three groups. First of all, for the asylum seekers themselves. Second, for our own staff. People are working for us, people are working for you. They need to feel safe in their working environment and also for the local community. So I think we have done a lot of work in the last three years. Nothing would not have been possible thanks to the people of the Greek reception system, the very active support of EUAA, and I thank you all, Nina in particular, who, who, whom I have worked very well together since 2020, but all the staff of EUAA has been enormously supported, and of course other international organizations we work so let me also welcome you to Athens. I hope you have a productive meeting. You're going to face a lot of challenges in the months and years to come. This is not a prediction, it's obvious. So that the immigration crisis is not going away. So we need to ensure that we're able to provide at the same time support for people in need, respecting the values that Europe has, but also being able to provide an appropriate environment for asylum seekers, our staff, and the local community. Thank you so much.